You won't want to press your luck this St. Patrick's Day as people in the community take part in celebrations across town. The El Paso Police Department wants to remind you to celebrate responsibly. That's right, and ABC 7's Tony Gutierrez spoke with the authorities about how they are keeping people safe tonight and how you can do the same. He reports from West El Paso. With bars open and people gathering to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, it's important to remember that luck won't be on your side if you drink and drive. DWI is a very dangerous offense because not only are you putting your life in danger, but you're putting the life of others in danger, and there's really no excuse for that. As people take part in the festivities and enjoy their green beers, police say a good portion of traffic deaths in El Paso involve alcohol. Alcohol plays a factor in a variety of uh, different uh, incidents and even incidents aside from DWI. I feel like a lot of times there's been stories of like older people that get um, like hit when someone else is drinking and driving and so it's really sad to see like they're um, paying the price for someone that's uncon like not being considerate of other people. With many options available, here are some tips so those celebrating St. Patrick's Day can stay safe. Always keep in touch with your family and friends so they can know where you are, what, what is your current situation. Be honest and don't judge. Just don't drink and drive Uber. I'm like, your loved ones want you home safe. Happy St. Patty's, exactly. stay safe. <laughs> Take an Uber. Sergeant Sambrano also told me that a person can be charged with a DWI if a substance, legal or illegal, alters the way they operate a vehicle. For now, reporting from West El Paso, Tony Gutierrez, ABC7. Some good information.